So in yesterday's session, uh, we discussed like what is payroll process and what all steps we have in which we discussed run pay calculation. I mean, how to run the pay calculation, what is smart calculation, what is even driven calculation, status and on hold, etc. Along with that, what are all parameters we have to enter, something like pay group, pay run group, pay group details, also scheduling the pay calc. These are the topics we covered. So before proceeding to the new topic, any questions on our yesterday's topic can help or any uh, examples? Okay, let's proceed then uh, for the remaining steps. The next task is run pay accounting. So let me initiate, since we have canceled the pay calculation yesterday, let me reinitiate and then we'll follow as per the process. So I'm gonna access the task run pay calculation. So pay period. Semi monthly one on 2019. Pay group is corporate. Right. And smart calculation around 54 employees we have. Currently the status is not restarted because we have canceled the payroll. Now let's initiate, okay. Refresh until the status successfully shows completed. Refresh. Refresh. Refresh, perfect. Now the status has been successfully completed. Now we'll check whether there any employees have any errors or successfully done. The total number of employees 54 and all 54 employees has been successfully processed. No employees has pending completion, no request recalculation, no error, or no, even not even on hold. Once the step has been initiated, we will validate the pay results. So you can select here, it will list out all the 54 employees. So you can, validation says a simple validation we can perform. So to ensure gross and net amounts are available for this worker or not, just a, a simple check. We do have a report actually. Looks like all these employees have both gross and net amount, but one employee have has audit alert. So whenever you see this flag, Whenever you see this flag, is th this employee pay? I mean, what is the payment election has been changed? Check or bank bank account has been changed. Okay, looks all good so far. Proceed with our next step, which is run pay accounting. After completing the run pay calculation, this has to be taken care of by the payroll team. Payroll admin is responsible our partners responsible. Once they initiate the pay run, I mean run pay calculation, the next step is run pay accounting. This step has to be taken care of by the finance people. However, uh, it sometimes it might be a mutual agreement between the payroll team and finance team. The finance team may ask, hey payroll team, you proceed, please proceed to run the payroll, uh, the accounting also. If we have any issues or any errors, we will, we will look into that. It's a mutual understanding or what the recommendation is payroll accounting must go through the finance team. Payroll admins are not responsible to run this payroll accounting. Okay. So once uh, this step has been successfully completed, the, payroll pay, the next step we are going to initiate run pay accounting. So what happens in run pay accounting? In SAP, we have symbolic account, GL accounts. Similar to that here also we have GL accounts and that has to be configured and mapped by the finance team. So once you initiate this uh, run pay accounting, automatically system will create general ledger. Okay, automatic system will create general ledger. Okay, it's so like this earning is going to be paid from which cost centers. Okay, so it will be mapped. So let's see um, this task. But before you're going to initiate run pay accounting, make sure 
run pay calculation must be successfully completed. So access the task, run pay accounting. So in the run pay accounting, we have two check boxes, prior period, next period. So if you want system to select by default next pay period, you can select this. Or if you are calculating the run pay accounting for prior period, you can select this option. But first we have to select the pay period, then only these two will be effective. Okay. So let me un unselect it at this moment. So for which pay period we are going to run the uh, payroll accounting. So 1 1 2019 semi monthly. And the next step, we need to set the pay group. professional cor corporate professional and then is it off cycle or on cycle so we have to select on cycle is a regular pay so i said this i am it's a new feature i'm still uh, exploring on this i'll get back to you uh, might be in one or two sessions hopefully by thursday so there is no reason batch id the reason is we are running manually we are not running through schedule process Similar to the run pay calculation, we have a scheduling, a run pay accounting also we have schedule, okay? Now here you can tally total 54 employees has been processed by the run pay accounting, sorry, a run pay calculation, the same numbers, here also we have a tally and finance side also they don't have any errors. So the parameters are pay period, pay group or parent group and on cycle or off cycle. But if you, if you notice here, we don't have any control on smart calculations or events because payroll accounting when you initiating means once the payroll run pay calculation step is successfully completed then only we will initiate this step okay and the event driven and uh, smart calculation based on the workers these are for testing purpose that's why we have the task only on simulation stage okay then initiate okay now automatically for all our earnings, the, uh, the general ledger accounts will be generated. I will show how it will generate. It's complete in financial terminology. So please refresh until the payroll process is successfully complete. Okay. Now all 54 employees, the payroll process is actually completed. So the so status is completed. None of the employee has been in error. So navigate to the process information, scroll down here, the financial, what happens when we initiate the run pay accounting is going to check the work tax means reference ID is in functional terminology. It will create some accruals, uh, forward accruals, comparison, deletion, creating general, ledger, general ledgers or journals, et cetera. Okay completely financial one so once this step also been successfully completed the next step is run pay complete the most important one if you are proceeding with run pay complete if you are proceeding with run pay complete the point we need to remember which means you are closing the pay period which means for this pay period sorry for this pay period we are closing the payroll for semi-monthly professional corporate regular pay group, we are closing the payroll for this pay cycle. So proceed with the step. Access the task, run pay complete. Run pay complete. Here, enter the pay period which you are trying to complete the payroll. Semi monthly pay group. On cycle. Now, here it's a review tab for us. So for this period start date and pay period end date, payroll payment date, whatever the data we are given in the period schedules, the similar information you can see here. And we are selecting okay, confirm, 
proceed to complete the payroll okay select okay which means we are closing the pay cycle pay period here so please refresh until the payroll has been successfully complete successfully completed for all 54 employees okay now payroll has been completed and it has been moved to the next pay period where i can see that information so go to the pay group here we can track next pay period to be processed 116 2019 the pay period is successfully completed just now 112 the last pay period is completed 112 okay and now this pay period needs to be i mean going to be processed in the next pay cycle okay now let's talk about challenges as well though we have successfully completed the payroll there might be some mistakes or sometimes what happen uh and errors okay some errors if you run into errors but still you have proceed but one point i want to highlight here which is the the difference between sap payroll and workday payroll when you run in the payroll for 100 employees in sap out of 100 employees 10 employee has errors sap system doesn't allow you to complete the payroll at least when i'm learning at the time i noticed it doesn't allow you to complete the payroll until you resolve the errors in workday, that is not the concept. If you run in the payroll for 100 employees, 10 employees are running into errors, workday doesn't stop you. You can still proceed to complete the payroll. For 10 employees, you can do adjustments later. Okay, the flexibility we have. Okay, so let's say we have completed successfully payroll. By any chance, assume by mistakenly we initiated. By mistakenly we initiated. Our errors are there. Other person, other payroll admin, without noticing that they marked the payroll has been successfully completed. Now, how to handle the situation? How to bring the pay results back? So we have a task called cancel pay complete, which means entire process, we are here. We complete these three tasks, right? Step by step, we complete these task, three tasks. Now, once you initiate this task, cancel pay complete, now, which means you are reverting the payroll process back to the zero. Okay, you are reverting the payroll process to zero. Again, we have to reinitiate from here. Okay, let's see SAP. The we have a challenge. That's why SAP doesn't allow you. Correct. Either you have to remove the employee from the payroll area and process, or resolve the errors and proceed for uh, payroll process. But yes. here. This is different. This is a different case. So workday doesn't stop you to complete the payroll, though if the employee has some errors, we can still complete the payroll if the employee has errors as well. Okay. Of course, not the best practice. Definitely not the best practice. It's a kind of a flexibility. You take the call whether you want to complete the payroll or you want to hold resolve the errors and then proceed. Okay. Because in our uh, table, uh, we can come to know what are the cancelled employees or errors uh, for whom it is having. Yeah, okay. correct. Okay. And then let's take the scenario. Assume we complete the payroll process, but uh, out of 54 employees or 20 employees has errors, uh, one of the team is working on errors on priority without observing another team has been marked the payroll as complete. Let's say human mistake human error okay it's a human error it will happen right for example we both are in one team and you are my payroll manager and i told you we have errors so i'm working on errors errors by today so let me complete the payroll process i believe he already completed you initiate the pay complete now what we have to do we have to bring the changes back we have to bring the payroll process back the results back for that we have task called cancel pay complete Let's see how this task works. So access the task, cancel, pay run, pay complete. I always, yeah, pay complete. 
select the pay period for which paper you would like to cancel. Remember, you can see only the pay periods are successfully completed. And then pay group for which pay group you would like to cancel the payroll end to end. But before that, I request you go through this text mem once. What I understood is uh, for uh, off cycle payroll or uh, uh, whatever the special runs we are doing, for that we can't able to do this cancel oh. pay complete. Oh. Correct. Because those are part of adjustments. That's true. You can And uh, we should not do any posting. Uh, it, it should not post to FI as well. Like, right. So what happens? I will explain. Now, we have three steps, ma'am. Step one, step two, step three. Uh, let's say I am the fin financial guy, uh, you are the payroll consultant, payroll admin, your job is done, you run the payroll and you inform me, mm, one second, you told me. okay, yeah, you initiate the task and you inform me. Hey, I have my job is done. I initiate the payroll for particular pay payments. Next test is my, my task. Once I complete this task, then you will proceed to run pay complete. Now, what happened is I have not taken any action on this step. I have not generated any postings. Okay. You have waited and you assumed just again, I'm saying uh, mistakes. Sometimes mistakes or errors will happen, right? You assume Kiran has completed, let me complete the payroll. You initiate this task. I have not completed this task, how the <coughs> postings will complete. Now we have to bring the changes back. Right, ma'am? That case. Uh, will it allow whatever the successful employees or uh, we should complete all the employees? Then only it will. No, 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 no. Good point. It will allow only the employees who don't have any errors, ma'am. Errored employees, Workday doesn't allow you to process postings. Okay, because in Workday, it won't stop us if uh, we have the employees who is having errors. So yeah. first I have completed uh, uh, the employees, those who are not having the errors, and I have completed the FI. So in that case, uh, the employees who are having the errors also, can I do the posting after that, or uh, posting will be done at a time? No, no, you can do posting separately as well. I'm um, sorry, 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 one correction, one correction. So you're saying we have 100 employees, out of 100 employees, 10 employees has been run into an errors. Now we cannot hold the payroll. We have to proceed with the 90 employees because of 10 employees, we can't ask the remaining 90 employees. So I posted my accountings and then uh, payroll has also completed. So can I post separately for these 10 employees, right now? Yes. Good one. So, to be honest, financial side, I have very limited knowledge, but we run into these issues during support projects. So what happens here is the accounting team manually adjust for these remaining 10 employees. We cannot reopen the payroll accounting once we closed. It cannot be done. Okay. Okay. Manually, they have to adjust. How they will adjust financial side? Apologies, I have very limited knowledge on that area. If the same issue happened with our uh, regular functional payroll, how to do manual adjustments, corrections, reversals, I'm gonna explain. But financial side, not sure now. But let me explore um, and uh, if I find definitely I will come back to you with an answer. Uh, and for this process, do we have, do we need to, because in SAP we will do the status, right? We will, after completing all the employees payroll run, we will uh, select exit payroll. So here also, do we have any such type system of... Automatic. Yes, yes. System automatically, automatically, it will mark it as completed. There will set exit, which means before exiting, we'll double check and we'll select exit. The payroll is closed. Here also same process. Okay, you have to select okay to proceed. Automatically, the pay period will be moved to the next pay period. There's no concept called exit. 
but system will consider the payroll has been successfully completed after you run the last step, run pay complete. Okay, any other questions?